What's up guys, JJ from Changeover Media here. Today is day one of the 30 day content challenge. Thank you to everybody who's joining me on this journey. This is gonna be great, I'm super excited. Today I'm just gonna give you a quick tip. How do we take a widescreen video, turn it into a square post for Instagram and Facebook, and add titles to it as well. Let's jump into Canva. All right, so here we are in Canva. Canva is one of my favorite tools. Best part about it is it's free and it's super easy to use. So for starters, we're gonna come over here to create a Instagram post. We're using the Instagram template, but it works on Facebook and LinkedIn as well. We just want that square size. Next, we are going to go and drag and drop the video that we have already created and drop it onto the post here. So just simply drag and drop, give Canva a second for it to upload. That's why I think that digital marketing is a non-stop, never-ending process. All right, so this video is great, but I want to trim the beginning. I want to get rid of the so I think that in the beginning. So you click on the video. We're going to go up to the top and clip trim. If you're constantly from here, grab the little, the little top part and just drag it. I think that digital marketing is a is a non digital digital marketing is a non-stop, never-ending process. So now I've trimmed off the beginning there. Next, because it's a square post, I wanna make this video bigger. So I'm gonna zoom it in a bit, get myself nice and centered. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't care that there's a little bit of white on top on the bottom because we're gonna cover that up. So next, we are going to go over to the left bar and click on elements. And then we are going to click on the gray square. So now that we have the gray square, we drag it up to the top, grab the top, top uh, or the bottom handle, and we're gonna make a box for it. Now what I'm using this for is to put a title into it. So the size doesn't matter too, too much, but make it a good little size. We're gonna click on it, click on the color at the top, and we're gonna to change it to black. Next, I'm gonna click on it, and on the right side, I'm gonna click on duplicate, and I'm gonna drag the second one down to the bottom. So now we have places to add our text. So next we click text on the left side. I'm gonna click on heading. Now I'm gonna add the heading. Come up to the top, I'm gonna to change the color to white. We're gonna change my text size, to make it smaller, not quite that small. Drag it up there. We can grab the sides to just make it bigger as we can to make it fit. And then just move it so it's centered. And now I want the word never ending to jump out. So I'm gonna highlight that, click on text color at the top, click on red. So now word never ending pops right out. So as you're scrolling through the news feed, you'll see that and it'll jump out at you. Now for the bottom here, you could use a call to action. Um, if you wanna say swipe up to view more or check out our Facebook page, I'm gonna use this to put captions. So that's for another video about how to go about making captions, but you can put whatever you want down there. Once you're done with it, all you gotta do is come to the top right, click download, make sure video type or file type is selected as video, click download, give Canva a minute or so to process it and you're ready to post. Thank you for checking out this quick video. If you wanna join in with a 30 day content challenge, it is not too late. All you have to do is create one new piece of content every day for 30 days that is providing value to your audience. Anyone can join, we're starting today. Even if you start a little late, that's okay. Join in and I'm sure you'll be blown away at the increase in engagements on your content. And finally, make sure you're using hashtag 30 day content challenge so we can easily find each other's posts and help each other grow. See you tomorrow.